everyone, and welcome to UTA News. I'm Devin Case. And I'm Teresa Lehew. Thank you for joining us. UTA continues its work towards environmental sustainability with the innovative engineering building that is now under construction. The $116 million engineering research complex will be green, thanks to light reflecting and green roof surfaces, as well as shading that will help maintain fresh air inside the building. The new 230,000 square foot complex will also be able to capture and store rainfall to use for irrigation purposes. The engineering building is scheduled for completion in January 2011. If you plan on pledging a sorority or a fraternity, be cautious of dangerous acts like hazing. Yoli Hernandez and Victor Villanueva tell us more about this illegal conduct. Let's see. Hazing. Hazing is a phenomenon that um, a phenomenon of student culture. Um, it is a form of control where the in-group wants to create a rite of passage for the out-group to be either you're the one initiating the hazing activity or you're the one that's being hazed. Hazing can not only lead to suspension from the university, but also receive a state fine or up to 180 days in jail. Hazing is um, against state laws, um, so you can't go to jail, you can't receive a fine um, for participating in hazing. In the state of Texas, you can receive a fine up to $1,000, or you can go to jail for no, mo no more than 180 days um, if you fail to report ha a hazing activity. I do think that the school has some very good rules against hazing. Zero tolerance policy um, for hazing here at UTA. If, if you don't feel comfortable with sharing that information and putting it on television or the newspaper or telling your parents then it probably is hazing. If you feel that like you are being hazed you should report it to someone that you trust. Lots of different variables as far as what could happen. Um, those individuals who participated in the hazing activities could you know face criminal charges or you know face lawsuits, um, civil suits. I would say UTA is like any other university in the nation. Um, does hazing happen on this campus? Of, sure, of course it does. Does hazing happen on many college campuses? Of course they do. All in all, don't participate in hazing. If so, now you know there will be consequences. Or if you know somebody involved in hazing, don't be afraid. Report it. For more information about hazing, go to UTA's website at www.uta.edu or contact the UTA police. Coming up next, we'll take a closer look at one major that's earning more importance. Don't go away! What? What? All right. What's a joke? What's so funny? And welcome back. Our own Andrew Canales explores the economics major in today's current financial crisis. With many students each year being undecided about what to major in, I spoke with Assistant Professor Mike Ward to find out more about the economics major and why a student might want to consider an economics degree. More than that, it's a lot of uh, the science or social science of, of decision making, you know, how people make decisions and what the consequences of those decisions are and how those decisions could lead things uh, astray. With this new understanding of decision making, what kind of job can a student get with an econ degree? The job titles seemed very much very similar to the ones that uh, a management uh, graduate or finance or accounting, marketing would have. The, the 11th most popular job title was economist. Professor Ward went on to explain that not only do people with economics degrees have a broader range of jobs, but also have an added bonus. Our econ majors right out the bat and then about 10 years into the, their careers tend to do better than most of the other business fields. The Bureau of Labor and Statistics reports that in 2007 the median annual income for an economist was over $80,000. And now knowing more about economics, what kind of traits should a person have before making economics their major? And number one thing is to be curious about curious about how things work and you know, how uh, uh, society is arranged the way it is. After you graduate, you may want to stay and get your master's. It seems like post-grad students learn a lot. What they learn is a lot of empirical methods and how to use uh, the, the, the economic theory and, and actually use the numbers and, and com come up with forecasts, analyze policies and so forth. Now you've got enough information to help you make a decision. And with no shortage of economists to look up to, like Adam Smith, John Maynard Keynes, Milton Friedman, Alan Greenspan, and of course, Michael Ward. There's a lot to think about. 
I'm Andrew Kness, and this is UTA News. Thank you, Andrew, for the insight. Hope Equay and Devin Case have a special report on an upcoming grant and scholarship program at the university. I think the College of Science and College of Education both you know, got wind of the announcement about the same time, kind of reached out to each other to say, hey, we should collaborate on this. The Robert Noyce Teacher Scholarship Program will not only provide scholarships for students, it will help better the education of the next generation. We're focusing on physical science and mathematics, or since it's a high need area in terms of subject matter. Also, the teachers will commit and be prepared specifically for high need school districts. Our partnering districts are Fort Worth, Arlington, and Dallas. These counties are the ones struggling most in the areas of math, science, and other academic goals, better known as high need schools. A high need school includes factors like uh, free and reduced lunch, so a certain number of students need to be on free and reduced lunch. The project also provides a way for UTA to excel in learning. We bring support to our already exceptional students and, and attract exceptional students to our programs. Also, we'll be preparing students to become teachers who will make an impact in our metropolitan area school districts. The main benefit to UT Arlington is going to be immediate, and that's going to be this, the scholarship money to students. We're, we're going to attract the very best students to come be education majors. Uh, uh, teacher preparation candidates at UTA. Starting fall 2009, students wanting to teach math and science will be able to apply for these scholarships. These are extremely large scholarships on, on our campus. Um, I think the largest scholarship the president's office gives out is about 6000 So we have $10,000 scholarships. However, there are many more scholarships available for students with other majors. We collaborate all the time, so this isn't, this isn't the first and won't be the last. I'm Hope Ekwai, UTA News. The staff at UTA's Financial Aid and Scholarships Office are available for any questions students may have. The office is located on the second floor of Davis Hall. UTA police say crime rates increased in 2007 due to the growing on-campus student population, but the university police are touting improved efforts to keep students safe. Our mission is to uh, support the goals of the university and to work cooperatively with the community uh, to provide a conducive environment uh, or an environment conducive to learning uh, with a focus on prevention and service. You know, parking is the biggest deal here at, at UTA and most of the students uh, receive parking tickets. So that's the biggest violation. Uh, typically, parking in, in wrong lots uh, in staff or faculty lots or parking without a permit. UT police are increasing personnel, expanding their late night escort services, and promoting their new public assistance towers. A lot of people walk around campus not paying attention to what's going on around them. They're either talking on the cell phone, looking down, or what have you. And if people just walk, you know, with a purpose and look from side to side, let people know that, hey, you know, you're, you're being aware. Of course, the department, administration, and campus community will continue working on this issue. We'll be right back with more UTA news. Here comes the rain. We need a hat. <laughs> and why do we need a hat? Hmm? When you talk with your child, you build vocabulary. And learning starts long before school does. For more tips, go to bornlearning.org. Every year, one UTA group hosts an event that puts the slime in game time. Hundreds of students come prepared to get down and dirty for the annual Oozeball game. Oozeball is a giant tournament, it's a, it's a volleyball tournament, and we do it in pits of mud. They ship just buckets and buckets of dirt. There's like fire departments spraying water everywhere, and so for about 30 minutes we stomp the mud. The tradition began in 1989 and has been voted the number one tradition at UTA. A lot of the different organizations do it. A lot of the fraternities and sororities get into it too, so it's a big campus wide thing. The Student Alumni Association sponsors the event and handles all the planning and setup. A variety of student organizations participate, making up over 100 teams. The fees collected go towards preparation, giveaways, and student scholarships. Not only does Oozeball promote school spirit, it gives college students a chance to play in the mud. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time with more UTA news.